so my title at Detectify is a security researcher, which is a really broad term. Uh, I'm also some kind of like security advisor within the marketing team, as well as uh, writing a lot of stuff uh, myself. Uh, and I also do a lot of bug bounties in my spare time. I would say I look for client-side vulnerabilities the most, uh, such as like XSS, uh, rather than like server-side vulnerabilities. Uh, I've always been interested, like more interested in how different browsers behave and so on, than to see like how different web servers re react to requests. Uh, I also do more or less only web, so no mobile applications or anything like that. And I feel like. Uh, there are like certainly more than enough vulnerabilities in whatever platform you, you, you decide to focus on in like bug bounty. Uh, so, well, I picked client side vulnerabilities. Well, so <laughs> the, the first real bug I found uh, was in XSS in Google Translate. Uh, which like I didn't know anything about bug bounty back then more or less and I was like 13 years old or something uh, so I feel like that was a really great uh, first experience or initial experience like because Google are known for taking stuff very seriously and like understanding everything around it so well I, I I'm more or less like I suck at recon uh, recon being that like uh, when you're looking for the different kind of weird subdomains and when you're like mapping out the whole infrastructure and so uh, so I like more or less given up on that so I find it much more interesting to tinker around with the actual main application uh, or maybe like use Google to find some side application that is easily found so I uh, find it like spending time finding some kind of weird XSS in the actual core app is kind of like uh, doing uh, people solving a Rubik's Cube or doing Sudoku, it's like that's actually fun. Uh, while spending time writing recon tools is, I mean, that feels like work. Uh, and like with that said, this is probably not the most efficient method maybe, uh, but it's the one that I found uh, like being the most fun one. I would say what I remember the most from Bike Bounty has actually not been like the bugs I found, uh, but rather like the responses from companies. Uh, such as like when someone paid out for a bug like two minutes after I reported it, or another time then I reported something and the security analyst, like the, the one receiving the report, uh, turns out that he had studied in Sweden before and like wrote a very personal, uh, personal note and like uh, a bit, little bit of his, his experience from that. And I think that kind of more personal reaction or a really uh, fast handling or, or something like that, that experience is for me much more worth than, the, uh, than how technical interesting a bug report is. And I, like in, in addition, like all the cool and really, really bright people I've had a chance to talk with. I think today and for the nearest years at least, uh, uh, pen test, bug bounty and automation is like they both, they all three has their place. Uh, as well as like education for the developers. Uh, I mean, security is like a lot of different things to care about. Uh, and I think all of those are needed. Uh, I don't see automation taking over the whole bug bounty thing either. Uh, I think like as with any field, automation is going to take over uh, more and more st uh, stuff and more and more tasks about like <laughs> what people do in the day job um, but I I don't see it like removing the manual part from security uh, like definitely so but I think our approach doing the the crowdsource uh, like bug bounty together with automation I think that's uh, I think that's a really cool way of actually utilizing both things. I will say like take notes and document everything. Uh, I still do that way less than I will actually want to do. Um, but I found, I mean, I find a lot of bugs by just looking through old notes and connecting things when I learn new things. 
Uh, I mean, sometimes you can find like a weird behavior and document it or write it down, uh, more or less like forgetting about it. And like half a year later, you are in the like while showering, you figure out something, uh, and then you actually like really want to be able to find that endpoint again, so you can go back to your notes and like figure piece everything together. Um, and I also think that it's uh, of great importance to to drink a lot of coffee. I think that would be my final final recommendation.